What's up? This is Mark Heilman. I'm hanging out with Jackson. We're checking out my new signature guitar. Hope you like it. Being a Jackson signature artist is like the completion of a circle that I really never knew was a circle that could be completed. When I first started playing guitar or got interested in music, I didn't know what a signature guitar was. All I knew is at a very young age, I'm going to be a musician. I'm going to be a guitar player. And uh, over the years, learned the history of companies and guitars and everything. And, Jackson, I've held it in such a high regard that being a signature artist now is like the top of Rift Mountain, you know? Going at designing a signature guitar, it was with uh, Mike Tempesta from Jackson, the artist rep. Amazing guy, easy to talk to, highly knowledgeable. And yeah, we thought about it, and I knew I wanted to play a Rhodes, you know, and Rhodes, there's a, a lot of power in the Rhodes. It's a, it's a, a legacy piece, you know, and it's, it's an amazing, it's just, it, look at it, it's freaking awesome. But uh, I wanted something that was gonna be an homage to the classic, but also modern, and looking sleek and new, and I kind of, I knew that the black and gold would give that classic Rhodes look. First thing, reverse headstock, modern, make it look sick. No inlays, make it look sleek, fast. Uh, 26 and a half inch scale for lower tunings and uh, gotta have a Floyd Rose. So you gotta, gotta dive bomb, you know? Got, I mean, uh, and yeah, the pinstripes, again, back to, you know, the homage to the classic. Yeah, so the pickups that I wanted to use on this guitar were the Fishman Modern Fluences. It's what I've been using as my main pickup in all my guitars that I tour with. I feel like it, as far as being a high output and doing super chuggy, heavy, you know, low tune stuff, it really holds up uh, in the studio, on stage, everything. Uh, the clarity that comes for them, um, basically, you know, if you're playing full chords or you're playing a super low note, but you're also hitting these high, any high notes, everything comes through clear. And the other thing is it has multiple voices. So you have your push-pull, so each one of these has two voices. Uh, it's really kind of like a, a high output on the voice one when it's in and a medium output when it's pulled out, so more like passive. And yeah, they're pretty much integral to what I use these days pickup-wise. One thing that I could do to make the roads, dare I say, better is adding a belly cutaway and what we're calling the shredder heel. So taking away some wood from up here for better access to the high notes. And since I have these on my customs as well, I've spoken to a lot of my guitar friends and they're like, oh, you're, you're genius. You took the, the, some of the wood away from it, made it easier to play and the belly cutaway. Like every, that's the main thing that a lot of my friends are like, Great, brilliant, brilliant thing to do. So I think those are key features that make my roads my roads. I look back at everything that I've done and what has been you know, what has resonated with people the most, and it's usually the stuff that was the most simple. It's far more difficult to write a simple riff that hits, or a simple song that really works, than it is to write something that is highly technical. Of course it's difficult to write something that's technical, it's hard to play that, but the, the impact that a simple song can have, it's, uh, it's pretty much why I write songs. But it really comes from inspiration and what's what's going on in my head. What do I hear? What's serving my passion for playing guitar? And uh, yeah, it's it's uh, really trying to lean into my strengths, sharpen the tools that I got. And if there's something that's going on in my head that I got to learn something new, then that's what it's all about. Learn some new stuff and have fun with it.
having a guitar out that people can play or me stumbling across it in a music store, one, it's amazing that it is a part of the guitar atmosphere at that point, you know? So not only do I see it, other people see it, and it's affecting, it has its ripple effects, you know? Um, it's really kind of like a heavy question to answer. It makes me think about, you know, my dad, you know, and like he was a gigging musician. I think about anybody that has been gigging and trying to make money off of music and it really becomes a, a, a point of gratitude. Like, man, this is, how much cooler does it get than this and how lucky I am to, you know, be in that position. And yeah, hopefully if someone's playing it, hopefully they're inspired and they're making some new sick riffs and sick songs that I can hear and I can be inspired by, you know, and completing the cycle, you know, that's, that's what it's all about. In that, I've really learned that it is about inspiring the next batch. And if you can't inspire people to do it, there is, there isn't the next batch. And then if they're not inspiring people, then there's not the next. And it's, uh, yeah, about continuing it and inspiring and hopefully aiding in the creation of awesome, music, riffs, new, new, new stuff, you know? And yeah, that's, that's something I've recently discovered probably in the past, you know, decade that that's really, you know, why, I think why I'm doing this is yeah, to inspire. That was it. Uh, that's my new signature guitar. Thanks for stopping by. If you want more information, go to jacksonguitars.com. Later. <laughs>